Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and this video is about knives that I don't think you can go wrong with. I think they are all great buys, and if you happen to get one, I, I just don't think you can go wrong with uh, buying one of these, any one of these knives from this list. Now, this knife is the Wii Esprit. I do not have my full review done with it. I probably should get that done, but, you know, it, it's a good one. It is a good one. So, spoiler alert. It's a great knife. This thing is absolutely amazing. It is a front flipper. That was my fault. I got a messed up thumb right now. Front flipper and a thumb stud action. Incredibly smooth. Very cool acoustics coming from it. We have an orange peel finish. This is going to be a very, very durable finish. Beautiful I guess a spear point, flat ground blade, Ray Laconico design, 20 CV blade steel, amazing action, deep carry clip, titanium hardware, just a, a solid, solid knife. Very, very solid, and the action is incredible. Ceramic caged bearing, ceramic detent, all the bells and whistles, steel lock bar insert, but just overall as a knife, it's great. Next. The Tucson TS-129. I always link this every time I show it. So if you guys ever want to buy one, there's usually always one in the description. Most of these knives are going to be linked in the description as long as I can link them. But I did make sure that all of these knives you can at least get. Even if I can't link it, you should still be able to find it. The Tucson TS-129 M390. Beautiful blade shape, man. This blade shape is so useful for EDC. We have um, amazing carbon fiber on this side beautifully milled titanium on this side and you can get this knife for like 130 dollars that's insane um the keyhole is very easy to access and very easy to deploy but then you also have the front flipper which is also very easy the ergos are amazing the titanium milled clip is the exact kind of titanium milled clip Ooh everybody wants it slides in and out of the pocket very nice all the bells and whistles and even on the inside on the inside of this it's has uh ceramic caged bearings that are on a race track internal stop pin i mean uh reverse detent ramp very very nice stuff on this knife especially for the money next now let me just say there's a hundred knives i could have put on this list literally a hundred knives because there are a lot of great options this is just a quick video on i don't know 20 knives or so on knives that you just really can't go wrong with if you do purchase them the artisan arion now they do have this in a mini version now that is a little bit more budget friendly that is a liner lock this one is the titanium frame lock version now there's other options available most of the knives on this list have other options not all of them but some of them now this one for lefty you can get by with it but they do like i said have the liner lock version available but awesome knife s35 vn mine has the coral micarta which is basically a burgundy micarta titanium frame lock titanium milled pocket clip beautiful micro milling on the handle steel lock bar insert just an amazing amazing knife and nice decent stop pin for the knife very strong lock up good action and yeah solid solid knife very thin too it's a very thin profile knife next now I'm, I'm trying to get for all budgets here so um we have another artisan we're going to pull up a couple more artisans we got a pretty good list here so we have the cjrb which is artisans budget line cjrb scoria this knife got an amazing review on my channel most of these knives are going to have reviews not all of them but most of them do the action's amazing the scales are contoured yet very thin i mean this thing is very very thin um titanium milled pocket clip titanium thumb studs and pivot collar the action is incredible on this thing and the blade shape and grind is really nice i mean you can get up nice and close to the blade or stay farther back the steel is a r r a r r p m 9 steel it is a proprietary steel of basically a powdered 9 cr that artisan um, developed 
and uh, very easy to maintain that steel. It's wor it works great, like in the field. You can strap it back really good. It holds a pretty good edge, and it takes a really good edge. It's easy to sharpen. It's a uh, good stainless steel. <clears throat> Next, um, if you don't like flippers. Then you have the CJRB Feldspar. Now the Feldspar comes in many different options. I even have a mini, I should have pulled it out, but there's a mini version available as well. All right, I heard you guys. Okay, there's the mini version. So you have the mini and the large version. Now even both versions have many different options. So there is my Carta versions, different steel options. This one's the RPM 9 steel. This one's D2. This is D2. So there's lots of options with this. Thumb stud action, ceramic ball bearing pivot. Good action, good detent, good ergos, good clip, just a solid knife. You know, it is pretty a pretty um simple knife, simple design, which works. And that's what's incredible about it. Great blade shape, beautiful stone washing if you get the stone washed version. Cause like I said, lots of options. So, but yeah, amazing, amazing um knives. Next. Spyderco Manix. Now the Manix, another one, comes in a hundred different options. They have lightweight options. And then if you bought one, you can get lots of different upgrades. You can get hardware. You can get a new cage. I got a titanium cage instead of the plastic cage. I have titanium scales on this one. They have so many different steel options. So you can basically get your favorite steel on this knife. Just about. Just about. They don't have a K390, which I'd love to see, but they don't have that. Um, but... Really strong locking mechanism, very easy to use. It is ambidextrous, so like even if you're left-handed, it's going to work the same. And it is a, a ball, a steel ball that's on a spring, so the, the thought of that breaking is just insane. I mean, the lockup is so strong, it's so durable, yet very, very smooth. And the shape and ergos, it's just built for EDC. If you've ever had one of these, you already know what I'm talking about. They just work so well in the field. With push cuts, you can get up nice and close to the blade. For a utility cut, the tip points down. The blade stock's only 130 thousandths, and then it's a full flat grind, so it's very, very slicey. It's just an all-around great, great knife. Next. Now, if you want something a little smaller than this, you can always go with the Delica. The Delica, man, you can't go wrong with the Delica. It is a backlock, so a little more traditional. But this backlock is so easy to use because you can hold it like this and just push it and let it hit your finger because it has that little guard. Spin it around and close it. Very easy to open up. In my opinion, it's easy to flick too, but the slow roll is very, very nice too. Very slicey blade. Such a good blade shape for EDC. I love this little swedge at the tip. Uh, Spider coat actually sharpens good grind or good angles on their um, their knives. So you have usually a good slicey edge that comes from Spider Co. Very easy to to use, you know. And it's just it is a straightforward knife, and that's the beauty of this one. And it's just so so useful. Now, yes, you can get upgraded parts like you see on this one with the with the um the 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 copper. Holy cow, I couldn't get that out. The copper scales, but you can also get them in different steels. This one's the 20 CV version. So lots of options with this one as well. Next, now we're going to get into some a little bit more budget option really quick. So we have the Civivi Riffle and the Civivi Brazen. Both amazing, amazing options. Now, um, you can get this one in Micarta. Diff there's different colored Micartas. And they use one of my favorite steels in the world, 14C28N on both of these models. They're both flat grinds, but their geometry is so great. It's so good. Nice and thin behind the edge. Thin blade stock. Really good slicer. Both of them are incredible slicers. You really can't go wrong with either one of these. I actually did a versus video on these two knives. Um, this one, the one thing it does have is it does have the hole, so you can reverse flick it. 
Um, now these are not hard use knives, but they are great EDC knives. You can do a lot of work with these things. Great work knives. This one has the thumb studs, great thumb stud action. Uh, very, very solid knives. They do have reversible pocket clips as well. So righties or lefties can enjoy this. T8 hardware, the construction and the build quality is amazing. And I really think Civivi's doing an incredible, I know they're doing an incredible job with their 14c 28 on and this one is very easy to de um, deploy left-handed if you are a lefty but yeah the steel on these is just man they're doing such a good job with their 14c 28 m let's get to the next one we got a couple more so now we're going to get into smaller options some people those were a little large those were full-size knives well not all of them but most of them so we're going to get to a little bit smaller knives now one this one to me, the Kaiser Duke, just a perfect size EDC. It's not very big. It's not very small. It has a full, almost a full hollow grind. It does have a little bit of recurve, N690 steel, liner lock, multicolor G10. Now there's other options. You get an all black version. There's lots of options. So don't think that, that this is the only uh, colors or whatever. So awesome, awesome action. This flipper action is some of the best flipping action I've ever felt on a on a knife <laughs> especially on a production knife let's get to the next one. Oh, and really just about every kaiser in 2021 is a great option i just want to put that disclaimer out there they have an amazing catalog this year watch any one of my kaiser reviews from this year holy cow are they killing it so this is just one example of many i shipped a lot of them out to other people so that's why otherwise there'd be even more right here in front of you this one is the civivi pintail this thing is so fidgety I mean, the action is so easy to use. And another one, lots of options with this. You can get micarta, you can get wood grain, you can get S35VN. This one is their Damascus, but Civivi is doing some of the best Damascus you can get aside from Damasteel, because this is a powdered version of 9CR. And this is micro thin. If you, I, I feel like I'm touching my other finger on the other side. It is so, so thin. You can almost see how thin it is. And beautiful damascus pattern so this is kind of a showpiece while still being very functional and unlike other damascuses that are crap this is actually good quality and will get you great edge retention deep carry clip sorry i forgot to say that and yeah awesome awesome knife it is a liner lock and reversible pocket clip for lefties nice big hardware ceramic caged bearings all the little bells and whistles now if you want something small but a little bit more robust you can get the benchmade mini griptilian the benchmade mini mini griptilian is an awesome awesome knife i love this knife and this is a complete ambidextrous knife meaning you can flip the clip over and it's going to be just the exact same as me with the right hand because the locking mechanism is um is the access lock so you just pull down that little bar very easy to deploy um, my favorite version is this version, the sheep's foot version, but there is a thumb stud drop point version. And there's lots of options with this one too. You can get uh, different blade shapes. You can get G10 instead of the FRN, lots of options. Next, now this one I just got, but I think that, I don't think you can go wrong with it. This is a new Kubi knife. Now Kubi just put out four new models, well more than four, but I um, unboxed four. Every single one of them were great, especially all of them, uh, especially the first three that I unboxed in that video. Now, this one is the 122, I think it is, the KU 122, I believe. I'll write it on the screen, um, whatever it is. But ambidextrous action, so you can use it lefty or righty with the action because it is a liner lock and the clip does flip to the other side. The detent is so, so crispy. Listen. It is so nice. Even on the clothes, nice strong detent for the reverse flick or for the top flipping action. We have um, D2 on this one, and it is a full flat ground drop point blade, G10 scales, deep carry clip. Now, I do wish they would have inset this clip, but they did not. So that is my one little tiny issue with it. But 
it's okay. And the ergos on this thing are really nice. It's not a big knife. It is a small knife, but man, is it a, a really capable knife. I've already been using it around the house. I've been carrying it since, uh, since I did the unboxing. So next, now this is a little guy, but the Kaiser Lieb. Now this is another one. Like I was saying about the, the Kaiser Dukes, amazing flipper action. If you want a little compact knife that just has that most insane flipping action this is it this thing the flipper tab is so nice and so well tuned it, it's just a perfect action now i have the ugly micarta scales but they have some really nice micarta scales you can get the blade steel is n690 great steel full flat ground uh sheep's foot blade shape you can see all the scratches and stuff this thing gets loved on a lot the liner is very easy to get to it is very very smooth not a deep carry clip but i don't think you want a deep carry on this one this one is it's it doesn't have a lot hanging out but just enough for you to grab and pull out of your pocket great fifth pocket knife or even a little primary the kaiser lieb very impressive on this little knife okay a couple more options Civivi Elementum, very quickly, lots of options with this one too. They have brass, copper, micarta, wood, G10, all different types of options. And then you have S35VN or D2. The D2 option is going to be more affordable, right around 50 bucks for the G10 model. Very, very nice. Now, this is just a straightforward awesome knife you can't go wrong with the elementum the flipping action is amazing the ergos are amazing deep carry pocket clip it is a liner lock obviously and yeah just an awesome hollow ground drop point spear point blade whatever you want to call it very very slicey and civivi does an awesome job with their heat treats this is just an awesome knife everybody should have an elementum in my opinion um, we'll do two more really quick. The new baby banter, the little baby banter, and just because they kind of remind me of each other, this is the Spyderco Chaparral. The Spyderco Chaparral is an amazing little tiny thin knife. The blade is only like 80,000 thick. And it's a tall flat grind, so this thing is super slicey. CTS XHP steel. There is other options for this. This is the lightweight option with uh, new titanium hardware, but very compact, even though you can get a full grip. Same thing with the baby banter. This is the Civivi baby banter. It's a little tiny knife, and you can see how you a little less cutting length on the baby banter but same thing where you can get a full four finger grip because of the forward finger choil very snappy little detent on this guy um we do have titanium thumb studs very very snappy easy to access liner lock very very smooth for such a little tiny compact knife i mean this thing is very small and it does have a deep carry inset clip love to see that so it feels like a little premium knife um and there's lots of options available now there is a larger version available that does not have the finger choil but lots of colors in this exact one and the bigger one actually um nitro v steel amazing amazing steel and this is just a great secondary or a primary for some people i guess it just depends on you but great great knife I, I really like it i'll be honest i really like it especially for a little small knife and i'm not a real tiny knife guy i do like having a backup option like this was like my backup knife of the year the chaparral and this to me is a very very close option or they're just they're they're so close in like how much i like them um and this one like i said man just an awesome knife and you got basically the same action reversible you can flip this over to the other side it is a wire clip some of the best clips ever but you can use it just as easy with the left hand so there you guys go i love you guys thank you guys for watching peace